What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and the Microsoft 365 Outlook Connector, and we are looking at the action which is Get Contact. So Get Contact allows you to pass in the details of a contact and have it return uh, the, the card details to you, so things like telephone number, email address, etc. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in Power Automate here, I have a, a trigger which is when an event is added, updated or deleted. We're actually not going to use this trigger, we're just going to run it manually, but we just need a trigger here. Now the next step is create contacts. Now one of the things that I actually need in my, uh, in my, in my action is the ID of a contact. So just for the testing purposes, I am putting, I'm creating a contact called Wally West in here with a telephone number and we're just going to use this to pass it uh, through to the next action. So I click on new step, I expand this list and I'll look for the Office 365 Outlook Connector, sometimes known as the Microsoft 365 Outlook Connector, and then I'll scroll down until I get to Get Contact. So Get Contact V2. Let's choose this and the first thing it's going to ask me for is the folder ID. So where, which folder are we in? So you can have multiple folders for your contacts. I just have a single folder called contacts. And then the next thing it asks me for is the item ID. So in this instance, I can use a bit of dynamic content and choose the ID this way. I think there may be alternate ways to get IDs, maybe through the Microsoft Graph or some other method. This is just kind of a, a, a video to show you what this action does and how it works. So now that we've got that, we will test this out. So we'll click on test. We'll run it from a previous run. So we'll run this one from seven minutes ago. Click test. And we can see we've got green ticks all the way down here. So it's all good. So we can click on get, to uh, get contact v2 and we can see we've got some information here. So the item ID we put in is the same one here. The display name and the given name are the same thing because we didn't specify a specific display name um, in here. I think it's not a display name, given name. Uh, so yeah, it just duplicates it as you do that. Um, we don't have an email address, didn't put that in. Uh, but we have a home telephone number, which we did put in. No business phone, but we've got some of the fields here. We've got uh, parent folder ID. So what's the parent folder of the contact that you're in? Um, if you have folders of like companies and things like that. Files, not too sure what that one is. Uh, if you know, let me know down below uh, in the comments. Uh, I am address, so if you have uh, Instant Messenger and you set that up, category if you categorize things, change key if you're changing things on the record um, just to make sure you um, you don't overwrite changes that have been changed since you the last time you've updated something, uh, created on time and the last modified time. So this is the data that we're getting out. Um, now I've been going back and forth on this action. Um, I as I can't find a way to trigger and get um, and get something from a, a trigger of like when a new record's created or um, some other method, I didn't really know where this action could be useful. I said, if we can query this data through things like Microsoft Graph, maybe we could do things like look at all the records or all the, the contacts, um, find where ones have a certain email address, um, go get those IDs and then pass that to Power Automate to do something. But again, I'm not too sure. So this is where, this is the part of the video where I always ask you guys what you use this for. So, do you use this action? Can you tell me a little bit more about it? Uh, what you use it for? Any business processes or anything else that you find useful um, to automate? That'd be really useful for me because I always love to learn new things and it's one of the reasons why I make these videos. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it was useful. Um, this is how this action works. This is what, what you need to do. Um, apologies I don't have any sort of business cases for you in this, this instance, but um, I hope this was useful to explain what this one does. Um, if you like this video, please like and share it. If you've not already, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.